Ooh, uncle, buying a motorcycle with much more power than this uh, maybe is not for everybody. The most important thing is that Ducati growls and U turn. Look at that, so easy. What's up, everybody? I'm here on the Multi Strada V2 again. Can't get enough of this motorcycle, so just came down to the showroom with Suresh. Gonna check out this bike. So I'm gonna turn to sport mode. Yeah. That's the mod we want. The gear shifting is so nice and easy. Super tactile. Very nice and easy. And if you check out the clutch, it's almost one finger. Two finger is super effortless. One finger, maybe a little bit of effort. But if you get a good grip, really good. Really good. You can never get tired. And of course, it comes with a quick shifter, so you don't have to worry much. All right. So getting my third ride on this. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> that feeling is all it's it's all about that feeling. It's all about that feeling. Got to watch out for traffic and people. Yeah. Before I get too excited. Keep your eyes on the road. Ooh, uncle. <laughs> running, climbing the bus and running. Don't have my gloves today because I've sent it out to for an exchange. Seem to have a small fault in it. So, you know, just nice. So you get a nice impression of how it feels to ride this bike on the city roads. Uh, so the thing is that the quick shifter works best when you cross uh, 4000 RPM. Beautiful braking. You, ha you can really enjoy riding this motorcycle on city roads. So comfortable, so easy. Man, it feels the same the first time, second time, third time. I'm assuming this is the same feeling you're gonna get every time you get on the motorcycle. Right? And the seat has so much space. Feels so good to ride this bike. And look at it, it's like a... It's so easy. So nice. It, it turns and twists the way you like it. The weight balance is so good. Really good. So hitting the front brakes, such a nice feedback you get from this motorcycle. It's very nice, very nice. And U-turn, look at that. So easy, so easy. Self-canceling indicators, making your life easier. Don't You won't be caught forgetting to turn off the indicator. Rear view mirror, it's designed well. There's not too much vibration. It works pretty decently, but yeah, it's not the best I would say, but sure, it still does the job. Um, it's got, the, I think, the similar rear view mirrors as the Multistrada V4. This bike is, in a way, it's got a mind of its own in the sense that it helps you ride the way you want to. Even though I'm experiencing this motorcycle uh, from a point of view of giving you a, a review on how it feels and all of that Half of the riding work is being done by the motorcycle by itself So well done the responsive uh, Acceleration Very well behaved when you want it to Cruising between traffic Like it's a piece of cake You will never believe that I'm sitting on a motorcycle of this size and of this capacity uh, But yeah so one of the only things that will be a problem for most people 
uh, for 95% of the people is the price obviously right it's about 20 lakhs on road in Chennai 20.2 the Multistrada V2S and the V2 without the electronic skyhook suspension uh, costs about uh, 18 lakhs if I'm not wrong so yeah it's a pretty pretty uh, but yeah if you've got the money and if this is the only bike that you want to own which can do everything right in city uh, you can uh, tour with it you can take a pillion with you happily with no stress uh, it's got ample power, it's got really good ergonomics, it's got this sense of, uh, you know, agility to it that uh, which you won't find very easily in bikes of this caliber, you know. Uh, I did try out the GS850. It felt a tiny bit underpowered uh, compared to the Ducatis and uh, it, it didn't give me this sort of a feel you know uh, where I could just hop on the bike and get that adrenaline rush but yet at the same time ride it super tamed and easy um, didn't feel that but the thing about the GSA 50 is that it's a wonderful off-road machine if you're into a lot of adventure biking and not totally into sports touring it's a fantastic bike I don't think this bike can do justice to what the uh, GS 850 can do for off-roading so look at that there's no way that you will not be feeling that rush when you ride this motorcycle it's too damn good it's too damn good feels wonderful and I'm sorry to say once again totally in love with this motorcycle the gear shifts are so easy the maneuvering is so easy you think and it does it you think and it does it um, as much as this motorcycle has a really kick-ass agility to it uh, based on my riding skill the motorcycle is uh, not as precise as a street motorcycle obviously so if you're pushing its limits uh, you probably have to learn how to ride really well learn to understand the limitations of the motorcycle and then probably it will still hold its line hold the trajectory but not as much as you would expect it in a street motorcycle such as a v2 or a uh, street triple those bikes are meant for precision riding and uh, as much as don't get me wrong this is absolutely uh, a ball to ride does everything you want for my caliber and my tastes of uh, motorcycling it's got it it's got everything and the height and for indian roads with the, all the potholes we have to deal with this bike does absolute justice you don't feel anything so let's just try the speed breaker here you can see a double so that's it very nice you don't feel it in your arms feels nice keeps it very uh the the shocks take it all and it's in sport mode so not in the most flush feel but uh, like you can check out in my uh, full spec review that you can adjust within the modes whether you want a much more plus suspension or a harder suspension depending on what kind of experience you're looking for or what kind of riding you are looking to do on that particular day right very customizable it's got so much to offer this motorcycle so if you are looking for a motorcycle which can do it all uh, and if it can handle the Indian roads like a boss one is I will never give up on the scrambler the Ducati scrambler or the desert sled uh, but touring bike with a huge seat comfortable with uh, luggage options and uh, provisions to fit panniers and super agile making it easy all day thousand kilometer motorcycle if you can do thousand kilometers uh, or sustain riding that long why not this motorcycle can do it all i am in love with it and the quick shifter uh, you will you will feel it when you experience it don't take my word for it go ahead and come check out the bike at the ducati showroom or any ducati showroom at which it's available and you feel it for yourself and that's pretty much what i can say and look at this at city speeds um i'm i'm riding at 25 26 so good doesn't knock a third gear fourth gear doesn't knock so good the accelerator responds so well 
and the most important thing is that Ducati growl, that grunt you feel from inside and then it pulls, you see that? It pulls forward, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. I mean, I think buying a motorcycle with much more power than this uh, maybe is not for everybody. Uh, so, there are a lot of people who, who are uh, uh, way more experienced and look for much different, uh, what do you say, uh, performance from the motorcycle. So maybe then it's going to make a difference. But even then, if you're an experienced rider, this can still do absolute justice for you to have a fall on all of your motorcycling uh, journeys or experiences. Yeah. So that's about my second time on the Multistrada V2. Thank you so much everybody for checking out the video. I'll see you soon with lots more coming your way. Thank you everybody and bye bye. This is Moto Varun. Check out my stuff when you have a minute. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And thank you so much. Bye bye.